Yo, guys, what's up? I got more free picks for you guys for the Monday night football game between the Niners and the Jets. I got two plays that we'll hop into in one second, but first, I want to make a super quick intro. I know no one likes listening to long intros, so I'm going to go quick, but you guys are going to want to hear this. I am doing you guys a massive, massive favor. Real quick, make sure to drop a like on this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the free pick videos that I give you guys every single day. But guys, what I am doing, if you don't know, if you guys haven't been here in the last two weeks of my videos, basically, my VIP is 100 bucks a week. 300 bucks a month. Okay. I know a lot of you guys can't afford that. I want to find a way for you guys to get in VIP because we are up 26 units on the season in football. That is insane. It's been two weeks up 26 units. That is insanely good. So you guys need to get in on that. So I'm making it free for you guys. Okay. And I'm just doing this, this video, maybe if it goes well, I'll keep doing it. But for this video, if you guys are watching this, congratulations. Okay. Because you can get a free month of VIP. I'm trying to make it as quick and simple, as easy as possible for everybody. All you have to do, go to the links down below, download either the chalkboard or the sleeper app and use code ghost. When you download it, it asks you if you have a promo code, put in code ghost, all caps right there, and then deposit at least 10 bucks on the app. You only have to do 10 bucks, but guys, you get a hundred dollar deposit match on both these apps. So I obviously highly recommend to just deposit as much money as you possibly can to get a free hundred bucks, but only at least 10 bucks. Drop a comment on this video saying, hey, I used your code. And then I will send you guys the link to a free month of VIP. And then you guys will get text directly to your phone of all of my plays for every single college football NFL game. Again, sent directly to your guys' phone for free for a month. Guys, this is a massive deal. Take me up on this um, deal that I'm giving you guys because, again, I'm I'm probably not going to do it after this video. We'll see how it goes. If you guys love it, maybe we will keep it. Maybe we won't. But, um, again, a month for free, and all you have to do is download one of those apps with code GHOST, deposit at least 10 bucks. These are the states that it's available in. It's available in most of the states. This is what it looks like, Sleeper or Chalkboard. Again, you don't have to get both apps. One or the other, you decide, you choose. But, again, go to the links down below. Download one of these apps with code GHOST. You get a free 100 bucks which with whatever app you guys get, you could just get both and get free 200 bucks. But a free 100 bucks, free month of VIP, you literally just have to take five minutes out of your day to get on these apps and then deposit with that code. I also, the play that I have for you guys today, I will also show you what I'm gonna be placing over on Sleeper and Chalkboard. Um, so you guys could put this, this exact play in this video. You could put this in on that app, okay? But let's hop into the video. So obviously, Niners, Jets, should be a good game. It's going to be a defensive game, in my opinion. That's how I see this game. We're kind of going to go ahead and game script this video and then, you know, slowly go into the picks. So I think the Niners are definitely going to win this game. I think they're going to have the lead for pretty much the entire game. I think the Jets are going to be a lot better this year than a lot of people think. Um, but I still do think the Niners are going to have the lead early on and then take the lead and hold on to the lead pretty much the entire game. With that being said, I think the Niners aren't going to go out and drop, you know, 30 points like they do a lot of games. I think they're going to go get 24 points, 20 to 24 points in this game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and take Jake Moody, who as of right now, I don't see this line being up before game time. I think they're going to take this line down one and a half field goals for Jake Moody. I feel like is a little bit too low. You guys can see last season. He hit three out of his last five games. He's projected to do really well in this game because the Niners do have a really good offense. They do score a lot of points, which is awesome for kickers. Obviously, he's going to get the offense is going to go down the field a ton. However, the Jets do have one of the best defenses in the entire league, meaning the Niners are good enough to go drive down the field. They should get past, you know, the 50, 40 yard line. They should get in field goal range. And then once they're in that range, the Jets defense is so good. The thought process behind this is that they're good enough to stop them and stop them from getting a touchdown and force them to kick field goals. So one and a half field goals, again, I feel like it's really low. If they're scoring 20 to 24 points, like I think they should in this game and not just myself, but pretty much everybody thinks they're going to score at least 20 points in this game. I think at least two field goals makes a ton of sense for Jake Moody here. Again, Jets, like a top five defense, really, really good defense. But the Niners are a good offense. They should go down the field, should score a good amount of points in this game. I really like Jake Moody here. It's at home. If it was away, I probably wouldn't take him, to be honest with you, because he's not the most consistent kicker away. But in home games, he usually is pretty good. So I like Jake Moody a lot in this situation. A lot of people don't ever look at kickers for some reason, but 
I think kickers are one of the best things you could take, especially in primetime games. I feel like there's always a lot of field goals in primetime games. Last year, we made a ton of money in primetime games with field goal kickers. So we're going to go back to that uh, strategy there and take Jake Moody over one and a half. The second play I have for you guys is going to be Brees Hall. So again, kind of going along with the game script. If we think Jake Moody's going to get one and a half field goals, we think the Niners are going to score the ball a lot. I think the Niners are actually going to hold on to the ball a lot, take a lot of time, chew the clock a lot. I think time of possession will lean the Niners way heavily in this game. I think both teams are going to run the ball kind of a decent amount, enough to chew the clock. I think Niners are going to chew the clock, and I think the Jets are going to run it enough to chew the clock, but they should be down in this game. Again, I think they're going to be down in this game, especially third, fourth quarter. We're going under on Brees Hall's rush attempts of 15 and a half. This line personally to me, Seems a bit high. Now, of course, it's the first game, pretty much the first game we're going to see with Brees Hall and Aaron Rodgers together on the field or just Aaron Rodgers and the Jets offense on the field in general. So it's tough to decide what we think the offense is going to do. But out of everyone on the Jets, out of every play we could take on the Jets, Going under on his rush attempts, I like a lot. Now that they do have Aaron Rodgers, I think they should be more confident in passing the ball, obviously. Brees Hall only went over this line four times last season. In all of his games last season, he only had more than 16 rush attempts four times in the entire season. Again, now they have Aaron Rodgers. They should be confident to pass the ball. The Niners' run defense is Top three in the league, really, really good run defense. So they should be stuffing the run, forcing them to pass the ball more. And again, they should be behind in this game. So Brees Hall usually doesn't get a lot of rush attempts. They should be behind, shouldn't be able to really run the ball in the third, especially not the fourth quarter. And the run defense is really good. Not to mention, now I don't think this is going to be a major factor on the game, but word on the street is the backup, I think Braylon Allen, um, could get goal line touches. So if they get within the five, get within the three, and you think they're just going to hand it off and give them one or two rush attempts right there. Word on the street is Braylon Allen, the big back, is going to get the, those goal line touches. We will see if that's true or not. Again, first game, so we don't really know yet. But if he can steal two, three rush attempts in this game from Brees Hall, that helps us even more, obviously. So I really like going under 15 and a half rush attempts right there for Brees Hall. Uh, that's going to be the play right there on prize picks. Again, I told you guys, I'll show you the play, what it looks like on sleeper and chalkboard. So this is what it's going to look like on chalkboard and sleeper. As of right now, they don't have the rush attempts up. So you could just take under on rushing yards. I still like that because for him to have to go over that and he has less than 15 carries, even if he has 15 carries right at that line of 15 carries, he'd have to average four, over four yards a carry to hit that. And again, Niners run defense is really good. So I like going under on rush yards too for Brees Hall. Either one's kind of fine, but I would prefer to go rush attempts if you can. But that's what the play looks like on Chalkboard or Sleeper, guys. Remember, drop a like on this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. And again, guys, I am doing you a massive favor. So make sure to take me up on this offer and go download Chalkboard or Sleeper. And remember to drop a comment on this video once you're done, once you're signed up and deposited with the code. Remember to drop that comment so I could actually find you and send you the link to the free month of VIP. Um, again, once you guys get that $100 deposit match, you guys can put this play in on Sleep right there. And then uh, last but not least, the, those are the states right there. So make sure that you guys are actually you know, pausing the video, looking to see if your state's available right there. But other than that, guys, those are the plays for the game on Monday night. Good luck with all your bets, and I'll catch you in the next video.